Let's summarize. So far, we've created a user account with public-private key cryptography. This way, it's secure, unlike passwords. We then use pbkdf2 to extend the user's password into a proof of work. That way, if a hacker tries to guess the password, they'll have to do hours of extra work for every guess. Now we use the proof of work to decrypt the private key. This private key is used to lock and unlock our private data in the same way you lock your house or your car to stop other people from getting at your stuff. But how does a lock work? Well, take a minute to stare at this animation, replaying it again and again while listening to my epic voice. This is how a lock works. Encryption is the same thing. It rotates every letter by a different distance, thus scrambling the message. You can only unscramble the message if you have a key that perfectly restores each letter in the message. This is called Advanced Encryption Standard, or AES for short. But wait, if the private key keeps our things safe, then how do we protect the private key itself? This is where the proof of work comes in and answers why we encrypt the private key with the proof of work, keeping our account secure and our users happy.